In this series of videos I'm attempting to repair and restore this Osborne OCC1 vintage computer. I've carried out a number of repairs so far and in the previous few videos in this series I was resolving an issue with the uh, floppy drive system. It wouldn't format discs and we've now got that working so we can move on to the next phase of the restoration. I've also carried out some other repairs. Uh, as I said, I don't always show all the detail on the repairs um, because it would make the videos too long or the series too long. Um, but I found an issue with the RS232 port and um, on this machine it uses op amps for the line drivers and a couple of those had failed so I've replaced those. That was a fairly easy fix. And um, the rest of it, there are a couple of things I need to resolve with it but the next thing I want to do is work on the case and to improve the way it looks. When I received this it was incredibly dirty, um, some damage to the uh, plastic case uh, but most of it was fairly superficial damage so I've been working on that. I've actually been doing that while I've been working on the electronics just because some of it takes uh, a fair amount of time to complete. So the top part of the case was in fairly poor condition, it was fairly badly yellowed and I've been retro brighting that as you can see it's come out uh, extremely nice there's um, there are the um, black um, kind of scuff marks on it as well which I've also been sorting out and the way I get rid of those is a bit of pumice powder water just um, very gently work that into the surface and it normally takes the black scuff marks off the underside of the case was in far worse condition it originally had some stickers in the center you can probably still just about see a light patch in the middle and uh, where the stickers were. It's actually half a sticker, somebody had kind of half torn it off and um, I assume it was left with this side facing a window or something. This side was very badly yellowed, much more so than the top. But again, it's come out quite nice. It does seem to be slightly darker plastic than the top, so I don't know if that's fairly typical for these uh, or if maybe even this was um, replaced or the top was replaced, but um, it doesn't, all the different parts of the plastic seem to have slightly different characteristics in terms of uh, their appearance. The smaller sections, I haven't done the handle part yet. Um, you can possibly see uh, where the light section is around the outside. This was probably the best part of the overall machine originally, but even so, you can see it's, I haven't uh, lightened this yet, you can see it's still fairly yellow. And um, as I say, this was the, the, the best part of the entire case. And if we now compare that with some parts that, again, this was much yellower than this, uh, you can see this has now come out uh, extremely nice. It's very close to the original colour and um, the entire case, uh, at least the parts I've done, have come out the same. So I've done the small sections, I've done the door on the back, carry out some minor repairs to these, they weren't too bad, still got a little bit of cleaning to do. And the front panels come out uh, quite nicely. The only thing I have to do on this is a very minor repair, so it's not too bad. Uh, but um, as is always the case uh, with plastic cases, no pun intended, um, there's a tendency for people to over tighten the mounting screws. We can see this brass insert here. It shouldn't be there, it should actually be in the lower part of the uh, outer case. It's been pulled through. The screws been put in through this side, tightened so much it's pulled the brass insert out of the bottom part of the cover where it should be uh, kind of bonded in and um, it's whoever did it just carried on tightening it and started pulling it through the front uh, part of the case. It should look like this. So I'll uh, try and get the plastic, the uh, metal insert out of the plastic front cover and I'll bond that back into the lower part of the case. But other than that it's looking uh, in very good condition. So what I'll do now is get this uh, repair sorted out. I'll drop the machine into the bottom part of the case, fit the top uh, cover and uh, we'll see how it looks. I've still got some repairs to do so it won't be a final assembly. I just want to see what other work is required before we continue with this. I also lighten the um, power adapter housing as well which is the bit that sits on the back and the uh, power socket panel screws to. So that's already done and it's already fitted. Uh, so I'll get this um, put into the case and we'll see how it looks. 
So that's the Osborne reassembled. Um, I wouldn't say that the case slots together easily. It's a bit of a struggle getting all these parts to um, play well together, but um, it does look quite nice now. It's uh, The case has come up uh, a lot better than I was expecting. It's looking really nice and clean. Even the front panel is looking nice and clean. I haven't finished with the keyboard yet. I still have some work to do on that, but we'll give it um, another uh, start and see if it still works. And like I said, it's a bit of a an ordeal getting this into the case so hopefully I haven't done any damage. Um, a couple more things I found wrong with this is the composite out wasn't working um, on this um, this upgraded uh, video board there's a composite out so you can use an external uh, larger monitor and that wasn't giving any signal out at all and that was just a failed device on the uh, daughter board, the video daughter board. The rest of it seems to work, the IEEE port now works, the um, RS-232 works, everything else seems to be behaving itself. I have not yet tried the modem, there's a modem I've got that slots into uh, one of the floppy drive bays. Um, I'll, tr I'll test that separately, um, but we'll try and boot this up and see if it still works. So I'll dim the lights in here a bit so that you can see the screen a bit better and hopefully it will cut down on the flicker as well. Let's turn the brightness up so you can see it more clearly. Okay, so I've got a boot disk in drive A, I've got a blank disk in drive B, and we'll see if the machine still operates. And as you can see, it's working fine. It will still format disks. So um, it looks like the fault we found with that um, was a permanent fix, so um, it's looking good. All the other aspects of the machine now seem to function the way they should. I haven't tried the external battery either. Obviously I don't have one, but I, I will probably try running this from a bench supply. Um, but that just now leaves the keyboard to finish off. So uh, another successful repair by the look of it and um, another one to add to my collection. I'm not sure this is going to be my favorite machine. It's certainly an interesting machine. It's, um, there are some nice, or at least interesting features of its uh, design in terms of the electronics, some fairly clever aspects of the electronics, as I've mentioned before. Uh, but some of the uh, things that have been designed into it let it down. The keyboard for me is a big fail for this machine. It, um, it's, it's okay, it doesn't feel too bad, but in terms of its long-term functionality, I, I think they could have done a lot better there. The overall appearance and style is quite nice. Pain to work on, I don't like the daughter board, and I especially don't like the daughter boards that are glued into place. That does make repairing them uh, a real pain. Um, but the general functionality is quite nice. It feels quite nice in terms of the uh, the way CPM seems to work. I haven't done a great deal yet. I have tried some of the programs that come with it, so the spreadsheet and the word processor seem to work very nicely. It's not a speed machine, but then it's also not particularly slow. It does certain tasks uh, quite uh, quickly. Reading the disks is uh, kind of seamless in the system. It's very nicely implemented when it works and um, overall it's an interesting looking machine so uh, yeah it'll be an interesting addition to my collection.